want to be a fashion designer. In those days, in a place like Brisbane, you, you had to have a bit of a dream of, of being somewhere else. As the former editor of Vogue, I spent my life analysing style and the way Australians dress. In terms of uncovering the Brisbane look, I wasn't entirely sure what I was going to find. It's, it's not a common thing to go and see your tailor. It's just not how guys have shopped in Brisbane. It just didn't really work. That was the first time I lost all of my money. I was so embarrassed. I felt so, such like a fake. We didn't have any resources. We taught fashion initially out of some home economics rooms. We had a complete sellout with the fashion festival. First time ever that has happened. There is a, a sense of why shouldn't we try that? They had so many opportunities to do what was on trend, but they just do their thing. So much of my even creative strength comes from growing up in Brisbane. You can still do something and potentially be the first person. It completely shaped who I am in the fashion sense. I think the Brisbane look is 